I was not going to speak on that because I think we all know what we're going to do and vote here. But this, number one, has nothing to do with public safety or lack thereof. It has merely with reducing a threshold such that our cities can indebt themselves more, tax themselves a whole lot easier. And yes, seniors will be affected because they generally have their living conditions pretty well ironed out and on fixed incomes. But I do wish uh, permission to read, please. Without objection. Okay. It was said in this office, in, in this, on this floor, that the you know, majority rule has been standard. That is not the case. It's called tyranny of the majority, which our Constitution sought to protect. To protect tyranny, it used in disgusting systems of democracy and majority rule in, evasions in, envisions a scenario in which decisions made by the majority place its interests so far above those of an individual or minority group as to constitute active oppression comparable to that of tyrants and despots. In many cases, disliked ethnic, religious, or racial group is deliberately penalized by the majority element acting through the democratic process. Now, there are separations of powers in our Constitution. There are rules that prevent majority rule, a uh, Bill of Rights in our Constitution to prevent this. So clearly, um, that statement was misinformed, misguided, and totally incorrect. I say we keep what we have, let the voters make decisions, don't go changing taxation and uh, debt rules here on this floor. We don't need it. We can pass things. Generally speaking, our cities and our counties are running a lot better than the state of California, and so I urge a no vote.